Hey guys, today I'm sitting in the shade for a minute so I can actually talk to you. And we're going to be planting trees and plants in clay soils. And it's real important to understand that most people do it wrong, so hold on. Hey guys, it's sunny and bright out here. I think we're going to be close to 80 today and I don't. this camera doesn't shoot well in the bright sun. So I'm sitting over here in the corner. <laughs> Because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to talk to you today about the mistake that everyone makes. I've made it in the past, and I'm really starting to correct that mistake, and I want you to correct it too. Now, I spent months and months and months researching this about circular root growth and how to plant trees properly. And that's a separate video I'm getting ready to put up. So there, these are two videos on the same day I'm kind of making. Next, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click subscribe because i got 22 videos coming out over the next two months. Once you subscribe, go to our channel. There's a little bell next to the subscribe channel, subscribe button, and uh, that'll alert you when we put up a new video so you know when they're coming out. All right, so let's talk about planting trees. Let's talk about planting trees and shrubs in heavy clay soils. Obviously, I'm in Georgia. We got this red solid clay. You just about have to have a pickaxe to have this to actually plant inside of it. The problem is, is if you dig a hole, I'm going to show you the tag on this tree I bought. If you plant this plant like they tell you to on this thing, man, it's going to do so poorly. And I've seen it in some of my older stuff that I planted wrong. Um, so I'm going to show you now um, the right way to do this when you're in heavy clay soils. Basically, you're just not going to dig as deep. You're going to dig a more shallow, wider hole. And what you're going to do is you're really going to spread out these roots inside of here. Here's the problem. The problem is, is when you do, if you plant it like they say you dig a hole and you stick the plant in the hole maybe a little bit bigger and you bury it at soil level the problem here in Georgia or wherever you have heavy clay soils is that when you get heavy rains especially in the spring all that water is just gonna sit in there and it's gonna rot the roots I can't tell you how many plants I've lost over the years to root rot just because it's all wet so you want to try and avoid that as much as possible. So instead of having a, a, a sharp hole straight down, you really want more of a shallow hole and you want to build the dirt up to it. And I'm going to show you that today. I've already planted one a couple days ago. I'm getting ready to plant another tree now. Uh, these are uh, flowering pear trees. And uh, surprisingly, they're doing pretty well. The one I planted a few days ago Remember, after you plant a tree, it might wilt a little bit. Just water it twice a day, very lightly. Every single day, water it lightly for twice a day, lightly. Unless you're going to have rain, then don't water it. So anyways, here's a... Hello, Jack Russell. Watch out, babe. So here's an example of what I'm talking about, this root stuff that I'm putting up a video for that you need to solve this root problem before you plant these. Now, this is... Uh, why can't I? This is fountain grass. And fountain grass is a perennial, and it's not cheap. And so essentially what I'm doing is, is this circular pattern is, happens on all container-grown plants. And you've got to stop that circular pattern. And it takes a while, but you can see what I'm doing here. Is I'm going through, and it's worth it on something like this. You know, when you're paying, when you're paying basically $8 a plant, take the time with it. Now, if I was spending 50 cents, a piece on some uh, annuals, I wouldn't worry about it, but perennials, uh, that's something you need to take a little time with. So I just go through here and I'm loosening all these up because I want these roots to grow out, not just keep growing in a circle. It's going to be bad for the plant. It also helps too if your roots are growing out in this clay soil and not just all sitting here in a ball because they'll get a lot of root rot. So if you can get these roots up, a lot of these feeder roots here, get these feeder roots up off that bottom and get them growing outward is what I'm trying to do. So watch that video. Hey guys, so one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a video of me actually digging this hole. And one of the things you'll notice when I dig this hole is that the hole is actually shallow and wide. And that's the first thing I want you to change when you're digging any kind of, uh, or you're planting anything inside clay soils. Again, my hole is not straight down, it's more shallow and wide. And that's the first thing you're gonna notice. The next little tip is uh, if you have any areas, uh, I'm gonna be taking out the sod. This is Bermuda and I'm gonna be taking out the top layer of sod. So if you have any areas that need some sod, do it. I actually gave this sod that I 
pulling out of these trees. I actually gave it to my neighbor. Uh, she had a spot where they took out a whole bunch of stuff and we actually put that sod over in her yard. So that's another good tip. So let's go watch me dig a hole. It should be really exciting. Applause, please. Here's how they tell you how to plant this tree. What's wrong with that picture? Look at that for a minute. So what's gonna happen when you get a lot of rain, all this soil, all this water from falling in here is gonna fall down, leach in here, and it's not gonna penetrate that soil, that clay soil, or it's gonna penetrate it very little. The bottom roots down here, this whole thing is just gonna start to rot out. And that's why you plant it the way that I say, and you'll have a much happier tree. You can see they say plant about one inch above ground. I'm about halfway. Okay, guys, so don't get confused because what I'm going to do is I spent two days planting these trees. And so I'm going to be jumping back and forth between the days. But I covered some subjects one day and I didn't cover some subjects the other day. So my hole might look different. I'm wearing different clothes. So I'm going to be jumping back and forth to try and put this into a sequence that makes sense. All right, so here we go. Now we're actually going to cover planting the tree and we're going to cover the soil mix and a little bit about the root system that uh, I'd like to do the way that I like to do it in the way that a lot of people, professionals now, are actually doing this. So hold on. All right, so this is, uh, I got this at Lowe's. It's a uh, Cleveland Select Flowering Pear. And uh, this is what it'll end up looking like big tree so I'm planting it away from the fence because we have just too much fence back here but every time you get one of these plants every plant that you buy that comes potted is going to be root bound so the roots are going to be growing so as it goes in a container the roots actually go like this and they actually spin around and down the bottom is the worst and so what I've done is I lay this tree on its side and I massage the roots and massage the roots and massage the roots. And what I do is I start to pull these roots out one by one. So you can see that these were all tightly, tightly wound. <laughs> all these roots were so tightly bound up in there. Um, I, it takes for, it took me a long time to get these out. Now you will end up maybe breaking a few of them, but essentially what you're doing is you're trying to, if you don't unwind these roots, they're gonna keep winding. They will never grow. And so what I've done, take a look at my hole. It's not very deep. I'm only planting my tree. It'll end up being about half the root ball will be covered up here, about half the root ball, and then I'll build the soil up to here. Because otherwise in Georgia, it'll sit here and it'll rot in this soil. So that's what you do. Um, if you can let your root balls dry out a little bit without harming your trees, do that. And then you bend it over and then you slowly sit there and you pull these roots one by one. And you can sort of go in there and what you can feel is which way is it going. Now some of these roots are big, but you'll see it gets smaller in there. And like I said, you know, they tell you to cut the roots. So don't worry about if you end up snapping a few of them, it's no big deal, but to try and be gentle. All right, so what I'm doing now is I just got some potting soil over here and I'm gonna take clay soil and potting soil, four to one ratio, put it into this pot and mix it up. So maybe you can see now, hopefully you can see now what I'm talking about. 
So it's mostly this, the, the regular soil. It's mostly that clay soil, but there's a little bit of organic matter mixed in there. Not much. Okay, guys, so the next thing I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm gonna take my favorite piece of gardening equipment, which is a 48, pe 48 inch piece of rebar. And I'm gonna drive this right down next to the tree so that it's straight, so that it's in line with that main trunk there. And then I'm just gonna lightly loop some garden twine around it because since I'm not digging a deep hole here the tree if I have a heavy storm the tree can actually sort of get off kill so uh, because I'm wide and shallow more shallow on this and I'm not going into a regular hole I need that support right through the root ball try not to hit the tree branches which I just did Keep your tree straight. So I've got a 48 inch piece of rebar, probably about what, 12 inches into the ground below it. Now I'm gonna get some twine. <laughs> tied up and ready all right so now what I'm gonna do is when I go in here I'm going to put my soil mix I'm gonna pull roots and put my soil mix to hold those roots in an outward pattern because right now they're wanting to go back into that circular pattern all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take spin it spin it dirt dirt so I'm gonna take roots and I'm gonna keep these roots and I'm gonna try and get them to stay a little bit out as I do this. Same thing, reach under if I can, pull some roots out. And if they're, if they're facing up, I'm gonna push them down sort of lock them down like this one right here see that root right there I'm gonna bring it down and lock it into the soil down, lock it into the soil trying to find some roots that's good I'm just gonna fill in the rest of it So what's this line right here you're asking? Since I'm on the downhill slope, I cut a little line into here, I'll fill this back up. But if there's excess water inside of here, it can run off this way. It's something I do on a lot of my trees. All right. So one of the reasons why that tag is wrong, in most cases, is they're telling you to leave a depression around the tree, which is going to gather all that water, put it into that hole, and it's going to go nowhere because it's clay soil. Make sense? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull back a little bit of this and I'm actually going to get some water and I'm actually going to I'm actually going to water the tree itself now that I know I'm all set to go I'm going to water the tree itself and I'm going to push this dirt back up on before I finish now I'm only going to put a little bit of water because it's going to start raining this evening and it's going to rain for almost two days so but I know that this tree will be standing out here in the sunshine today. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of water. Just let that soak down a bit. If there's any runoff, it'll run off over here. We'll let that get down into this, into the main ball here. 
Now once that water settles in, and I want to make mud, there's a plant's love of oxygen. So now what I'm going to do, is expose break. fill this back in. Maybe put a little gravel in here first and then I'll fill this back in and the grass will grow right over that. And then I'm going to mulch over this too. All right so this is the one that I'm doing right now. You can see it. Again we have this big long fence here. We have this massively long fence here and we needed something to break it up. So I put that in. Last year we did these little natural areas. We did a couple of these and they came up real nice. Again uh, that's a perennial plant. All these are perennials. I didn't plant anything in here this year. This is all coming back up this spring. So here's the one I did uh, two days ago. Two days ago, and I've been giving it a little bit of water because the leaves were looking a little bit wilty on it, which is kind of normal when you break open those uh, roots. Uh, just keep giving it a little water, a little water. It's sitting out here in the sun. Of course it's going to do that. But you can see got my rebar got my rope tied off to hold it I've actually mulched all around it same thing but the same rule applies to you can see these are all perennials over here you can see my knockout roses very nice coming up and again this is April what 20th April 20th look at those knockout roses early fertilizer and good planting technique. Okay guys, good morning. It's actually early morning out here. You can tell from all the birdies. But this tree was planted, this is one of the trees that we separated out all the roots. This one was planted three days ago. And initially you might start to see some droopy leaves on it, but again, I watered it very lightly twice a day, not to overwater it. But you can see how happy, how happy it looks. And there's the finished. There's the finished tree number one. And then here's the other tree. Oops, let me get a little darker background here. And then there's the other tree right there. Now this one I planted yesterday. And uh, if the sun were to come out today, the leaves would probably droop a little bit on this. But as you can tell, we got clouds. Thank God we're going to get some rain today. And there's the finished one. Hey guys, so I hope you learned something from this video, especially about planting trees. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, so I hope you learned something from this video about planting trees, uh, shrubs, and all kinds of perennial plants, especially. Uh, unwind those roots, number one. Number two, dig a wide shallow hole and build up to the root ball don't stick it in a straight hole uh, if it's a tall tree support the tree and also return the natural soil to the hole in a ratio of 75 percent natural 25 percent um, some kind of potting soil a little bit in there a little bit not much i don't fertilize the trees i just leave them natural i'll come back next year and hit it with some fertilizer uh, hope that helped with you. Don't forget to click the subscribe button uh, and uh, I'll see you, like I said, probably 20 videos over the next six to eight weeks. Hope I can help you out. Duh.